If you need to quickly check if GA4 is installed on a website, I have good news for you. Luckily, there are multiple options and in this video I will show them. The first way to check if Google Analytics 4 is installed on a website is to go to the actual website, then do the right click and view page source. Here you should click Command F or Control F depending on what kind of device do you have and then enter GTAG. If you see a GTAG code and it contains some ID that starts with G and dash, it means that Google Analytics 4 is installed this way. If you see an ID of a different structure, like it starts with UA, then it means it's the older version of Google Analytics tracking code and that's not a good thing. So the company should eventually migrate to the tracking code using Google Analytics 4. And if you see another ID right here, let's say it starts with AW, it means that the tracking code is related to Google Ads. And that does not necessarily mean that Google Analytics 4 is installed. However, it's also very likely that you will not find anything related to GTAG because it's very popular to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. So if you cannot find GTAG, try to find gtm.js. If you find a code that looks something like this and it says Google Tag Manager and the ID starts with GTM, it means that this company is using Google Tag Manager. And Google Tag Manager is a tool that allows you to install analytics inside of it. So even though you don't see the native Google Analytics tracking code on the website, it's very likely that GA4 is installed with Google Tag Manager. So in that case, if you have access to this particular container, for example, then you could open that container. You can do that at tagmanager.google.com, but someone needs to give you access to that container. And then in that container, you can go to tags. And if you see some GA4 event tags, you see Google Tag, that contains the GA4 measurement ID, then it means that Google Analytics 4 is installed on the website. However, if you're just checking around that website and you don't have access to Google Tag Manager container, there are other ways how to verify GA4 installation. And let me show you them. So one of the options could be to open a new tab in a browser and enter tagassistant.google.com. Then here you can click add domain and then enter the URL of the website. In my case, this is the website. I will click here, click connect. This will open a new tab or a new window with the website. And here I should see what kind of Google tools, at least Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics are installed here. Also, you might see some Google Ads related IDs here. So this shows that Google Tag Manager container is installed, but also that Google Analytics is installed because that's the G icon and also the ID starts with G. So if you see some hits sent like page view, you can click it, you will see that Google Analytics is indeed installed. Alternatively, you can install a Google Analytics debugger extension. I will post a link to it below the video. So click it, then click install or add to Chrome, something like that. And then when you do this, you need to go to the website then open developer tools. You can do that by clicking three dots, more tools, developer tools, then go to console. You can clear the console and then go to the list of your Chrome extensions. And here you need to make sure that there is on ribbon added to the icon right here. Right now it says GA debug off. So if I click it, it will enable it and it will reload the page. If Google Analytics is installed, it will show a lot of Google Analytics related stuff, such as Google tag, and then it will show you a bunch of fairly complex commands and some output. Also, you will see the G4 measurement ID. You will also see what kind of event was sent. So it's page view and you can expand it to see some additional data. So if you're seeing something like that, it means Google Analytics is installed on the website. Another option is to use Ghostery Chrome extension. So I will post a link to it below the video as well. You can click add to Chrome, but just keep in mind that Ghostery works as ad blocker. So it will block Google Analytics 4 on your browser. However, it will still tell you if Google Analytics was actually present on the site. So you can add it to Chrome, then a ghost icon should appear somewhere right here. Where is it? Here it is then you need to enable it, then I will skip these steps, whatever. 
So now if I go to the website, I refresh the page, then I go here and I click on Ghostery and it says that it found four trackers on the website. Google Analytics is also considered as a tracker. So I can click it and here I can see that there are four trackers. I can click here. I can switch from simple view to detailed view. And here I can see that Google Analytics was here and it is blocked. I can expand it and I can see that there's googleanalytics.com. So if you also see this, it means that Google Analytics is installed on this website. But also keep in mind that as long as you keep Ghostery enabled and if you try to debug something in the future, Google Analytics real-time reports, debug view will not show your data because you're actively blocking GA4. Then another option is to check the cookies in the browser because Google Analytics sets specific cookies. So you can go to the developer tools, more tools right here. Of course, you now must be on the website and then click application, expand cookies and select your domain. Then enter underscore GA. And if you see some GA cookies, for example, like this one, and it is set on your own domain or subdomain, it means Google Analytics, at least at some point was installed on a website. But if you select this cookie, let's say you delete it, and then you refresh the page again, if that cookie is recreated, it means that Google Analytics is active on the page, it is installed and it is setting the cookie. The reason why I have so many random IDs here is because this is my test website. So I do various stuff with various GA4 properties. And the final tip that I wanted to share is to check the network tab in the browser. So while you are in the developer tools, go to network, clear everything right here, and then enter collect. Then refresh the page and I see some requests are blocked. That's because of the ghostery. So let me remove ghostery for now. And then I will clear the network tab and refresh again. So if you enter collect in the field right here, you should see at least one request that looks like this. So you can click it, you can expand it a bit. And here you will see what kind of data was sent. You can also switch to headers and see to which domain was it sent. It might be googleanalytics.com, but it also might be some subdomain related to your own business, like data.yourcompany.com or something like that. What is important is that Google Analytics requests also contain the version, GA4 is version two, then tracking ID, which is measurement ID, and it also might contain some parameters such as event name, which is page view in this case, and some additional information. Of course, it's possible to obfuscate the requests even more to hide a lot of details with things such as server side tagging, but normally Google Analytics for requests usually have this kind of information such as tracking ID or version or something like that. So if you see a request looking somewhat similar to what I see right here, it means Google Analytics is installed on a website. And that's how you can check if Google Analytics 4 is installed on a website. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.